Dave Parody here of Think Outside the Slide. What I want to show you in this video is how you can add a really nice organic highlighter feature to some text on your PowerPoint slide. Because PowerPoint doesn't have a highlighter feature in it like Word does. So you have to kind of go around it uh, in, a, in a backwards way. So here's what we're going to do. I've got some text on my slide here. It's just a regular text box. And let's say I wanted to highlight these three words, most important phrase. What I can do is I can create the highlight using the inking feature in slideshow mode. So here's what I'm going to do. I've added the text. I'm going to go into slideshow mode. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'm going to select pointer options and highlighter. Now the default is it comes up with a little red dot but when you right click you get to choose what type of pointer you want. So now uh, you can see the little yellow there and when I hold my mouse down I start highlighting. Now I can just go back and forth filling in the highlight. What it's going to do is, is it will all keep this as one shape until I release the mouse button. So you notice it's a nice organic shape. It's not perfectly rectangular when I release the mouse button. That first one is done. Now the second one, I can do that. And what if I make a mistake? Oh, oops, I went over there. Control E for erase. Now you get the eraser. Click on that inking. Gets rid of it. Go back, Control P for our pen again, right click, and we have to select the highlighter. It doesn't remember what we were using before. So now what I do is I just highlight this particular word, get that one done. You notice it's very organic, it's not a perfect rectangle. Once I'm done, here's where the, uh, the, the use comes in of this inking because I hit escape and that'll get me back out of my uh, inking but when I press the sec escape the second time it says here do you want to keep your inking and here's where we say yes I want to keep it and you'll notice it's added those nice organic shapes to our slide so these are actually objects so when I click on them you'll see I got my drawing tools so it's actually an object so that means I can animate it so on my animation I can add an entrance effect called wipe and I set the direction to be from the left. So you notice that comes on and it looks exactly like it would as if we were actually highlighting on a piece of paper. And I usually, uh, for a long one like this, I'll usually increase the duration. I find it too fast. Then for my second shape, I'll do the same thing. I'll add a wipe effect and set the direction. But in this case, what I want to do is I want the second object to happen automatically after the first one, so right after the first one. So what I'm going to do is for this particular object here, I'm going to say start after previous. So what that means is the first one will come on and then the second one will automatically come on. So when I do this in slideshow mode, in slideshow mode, and I do my uh, click, and you'll notice the highlighter comes on. This is great, especially if you're doing some teaching where you want somebody to actually highlight the words or numbers on a piece of paper that they have. Ask them to take their highlighter out and follow along as you are presenting. Because when they go back to that paper later on, what will they notice first? Whatever was highlighted. Now, because these are objects on the slide, you can, in the drawing tools ribbon, you can actually move them forward or backward. So if you wanted to put them behind the text box, you could. Now, because of the way the inking is done, it actually doesn't obscure the text at all. So there's really not a lot that changes. There's actually nothing that changes. So, but it, I just wanted to show you, you have that option if you want. So this is a great way to do organic highlighting of text in PowerPoint by leveraging its inking feature. I'm showing it to you in PowerPoint 2016, but it works the exact same way in PowerPoint 2007, 2010, 2013, and it's a great way to uh, add that sort of nice natural feel to your presentation.